Now, uh, Luke, there's so many um, stories knocking around. Uh, there's one, we got a press release from Oak Lodge Nursing Home uh, who say they are the first to pilot a new COVID-19 health passport. Um, they're talking about using a 15-minute test and then they construct a kind of a, a health passport. It's uh, developed by an Irish-based group called Roku, or O Q U. Um, and the Roku part of it is a kind of a digital thing, but the uh, nursing home thing, they're using some technology to do a 15-minute test. This, this is an amazing development in many ways. I mean, I read this and I said this is superb because this will be a 15-minute test. I mean, I'm wondering, is it a saliva test? I'm guessing it might be a saliva yeah, test. Cause cause it, the, the Roku, I looked up their press release when I saw this thing, and they say uh, they are not discriminating against any one test or another. You can use any test you like in feeding into their platform, which is this health passport. So it's, you know, there's no development there in terms of the testing. That's up to other scientific companies to develop the test. Right. But they build it into this health passport in some way. Yeah, number 15 minutes is so fast. I'm guessing it's a saliva test. It doesn't say it in the thing that might tell us. But this looks superb to me. But I got called Dermot O'Dolig is the head of that nursing home. It's in Cloyne, near where I go on my holidays. To be honest, I'm very familiar with Cloyne. And, and he wants to test all the residents and all the staff repeatedly. And this is exactly the thing to do, Pat, because you can imagine if you're testing people two or three times a week, they're spitting into a tube. It's very easy to do. You test for the virus. You can test for what's called the antigen. That's another thing you can do with a protein in the virus much quicker, you see. And this is a superb development. And this is a pilot study. So we're keeping, again, we're keeping our fingers crossed. If this pilot study works out, Pat, this should come into every single nursing home in the state. It should also go to every school in the state and every university. Test, test, test the famous mantra. Because then we yeah. begin to hunt the virus. Remember, you've got to hunt the virus down. It's like an animal. You've got to hunt it. And, and this testing is the way to hunt it. And, and see, the yeah. swab so, test so is even tricky. It, yeah, even if you don't get 100% from the saliva test or whatever, if you get a reasonable level of detection, um, you are kind of hunting it. You're isolating yeah. the virus. A few might escape and you might have an outbreak. But by and large, you're keeping the thing under... Right. Uh, under control. Even if you get 60-70% success of this, you see, you're hunting it down, aren't you? And you're having the risks of whatever it might be just by having that level of of, uh, of detection in the system. And some of these tests might be 90%. That's still a pretty good number overall. And you will begin to see, uh, you'll isolate the people who are positive. It's fantastic. I think it's especially relevant to schools as well, Pap, as we're back to school today. If there was regular testing, and they call this surveillance monitoring, you just test randomly. And, and the test is so straightforward if it is saliva, Pap, because remember these, the swab is a bit of a, an ordeal. You need a healthcare professional to do it. This is just spit in the tube and test to see if the virus is there. So I, I think this is a fantastic development.